Ah, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. He's going straight under that damn boat, man. Just went to our BCF pooling, picking up a couple of uh, smaller that was for the real light setup I got. So, you know, everything I got's pretty mullety. No bib, slow sinking, a little bit like a shallow popper, half pop. I think these are all the new range. Tiny little pencil, little white bait looking thing, little bib. And I've just got a bigger version of that too. This one's a, I think a slow sink. All in those mullety, silvery greenies. There you go, brother. All right, let's go for a little little fish. Fresh back from China, going out on the boat tomorrow. Gonna make use of this gear I bought for traveling, regardless. So let's go see if anything's about. It's high tide. We're down here now. See it's high tide up here at the moment. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna fish this spot, but I'm gonna start at the weir side and work my way down. We're just going for a lazy little half an hour cast today. So it's nice and shaded around this part anyway. I'll be able to flick out along the edge of this shadow. Anyway, let's get down the end. Lots of water birds down here. Could there be smaller fish and bigger fish? I don't know, someone's already down here fishing though. Have a little look. Smash my elbow. Naughty Jade, naughty pleasures. Fresh back from China. Getting all restless, it's been like three days since I've been back. I haven't been for a proper fish yet. Finally re-spooled my uh, reel after Australian Customs made me viciously strip it before I went over to China. Just didn't help the cause. We got a session in over there anyway. So um, I was gonna do some soft plastics. I still might do today, but I bought some hard bodies the other day, a couple of new, uh, new line of nomads different various little mullet shapes so it's a bit windy down here I might use some of the thin ones that look like white bait I've got a, I've got a bib on it and there's sometimes a few tailor floating around here so they might not be huge but I might get a couple of catches up anyway but I'll just catch a mullet if I catch nothing you're never going to know about it anyway I'm never going to show you this so let's rig it up and we'll get it out I'll show you the lure before we uh, get flicking anyway Super windy down here. Um, like I said, I'll show you the setup, but I'm going to be using eight pound on my little uh, two and a half thousand exist. Eight pound line. I'm undecided whether to use 12 or 16 pound leader, maybe 16 with the uh, Taylor Dude Shop the line around here. And um, that's about it. I'll show you the lure. All right, we've got two uh, new Nomad lures here. This one's a little, almost a pencil suspending lure. 
little minnow. They've got lots of uh, mullety sort of colours on it. This one's going to be good when there's no wind. I think I'm going to use the bigger one. Similar colours. This one's a floating one. It's got a little bit of a bib for some dive. It's going to slowly pop back up to the surface. So I've, I've got a lot of weed out here off this little point of the weir anyway, so it makes it sometimes a bit snaggy if you get too close to it. But yeah, we'll chuck the big one out. It's not, it's not massive anyway, you know what I mean? But we'll give that one a go because it's got a better chance of sliding through the wind. This one still feels a little bit light. Let's give it a crack. Okay. That's what we're using. It's nothing crazy. You see to the size of my hands, not that big. A little bit transparent. It's got that mullety green sort of edge to it. There is a... Yeah, it has got some type of rattle in it. Yeah, I think the flatties will smash this too on the shallows if I don't snag up. Let's, um, yeah. Let's whack this one on and get it out. Anyway, I can't use 16 pound anyway, I'm going to use 12 pound. Picked up some new type of fluorocarbon leader. Let's give it a crack. Can you shout us out? Use the crabs with the bait. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. I'll it out before I catch me too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is Ethan 35? Yeah, state his name, yeah. Who are we talking to right here? Uh, my name's Ethan. My username's Ethan 35. Alright, we've got Ethan 35 here. Yeah, I don't have a YouTube name. There's no YouTuber in the middle. I got, I got one. I said I want to suck my 85. And suck my 85 right over here. <laughs> Alright boys, I'll give you a shout out if I catch anything. Like the boys are going to get a shout out after all. We got something. All right, sweet ass. Got our first fish on a lure in a long time. <laughs> nice little tailor. It's probably, I don't know, probably a bit over 20 centimetres, 23 or something, 25. And just going to make sure he doesn't treble me. You know what? I'll use the pliers. I won't tempt fate. <laughs> that's what he took. 
took that Nomad and has buffed it, smashed it. So we'll let him go because I've got plenty of bait for tomorrow for the boat anyway. We're just having a bit of fun. This half. Nothing crazy. Only a little guy. Where is he? Only a little fella. Well, um, still got the teeth, mate. Let's throw him in. At the moment, the little melody job has done the trick. So we'll see if we can double up. Two seconds. Jesus. Oh, they're going nuts, mate. That trebles through my hand. I don't want to ever do it again. It's not pleasant. It's hooked like, right in the bottom of the lip, dead center. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Give it a few more casts off here and then we'll change up spots quick. We can't stay here all night, we're going out on the boat. We've got to be in bed pretty early. Youngsters were just fishing around the corner. I've caught plenty of fish around there as well. But they asked me to shout them out, and I said if I catch something, I'll shout them out. So there you go, boys. Enjoy it. Tight lines. Hope you boys get something next next time. Before we uh, walk through the pass, let's get check out the weir. This place is. A secret <laughs> but if, if you know where it is it can be hit and miss sometimes sometimes you get on sometimes you don't it's not a guaranteed but you can tell by all this water bubbling up underneath this thing there's a cavity underneath it and uh, it can be pretty dangerous when it's flowing hard and the tides up so you still can walk across this shallow at the moment the current is running strong but when it's a real big tide it's um it can be a bit treacherous i've gotten stuck out a couple of times where i thought i'd have to walk around the whole thing because uh these used to have they, they still do they got bits of rusted steel sticking up and if you fall in uh, there's a chance of it but, uh, decent spot to collect cherubins if you know how to catch them there are those big prawns. You can't see any fish. Alright, let's go check out the 
uh, next spot. I can't tell you how many times I've fished down here. Oh, countless, countless. Summer, winter, day, night. Better call it boiling hot. Snakes, possible sharks. Have been spooled by some things down here. Give it a miss. Uh, time's ticking on, sort of getting reasonably late now. Season the morning when we go fishing, right? 